This was nothing short of embarrassing. Xiaozi Chu, the CEO of TikTok, the social media platform that's taken the world by storm, recently had to defend his company's relationship with China in a US congressional hearing. But that's just the tip of the iceberg, so let's unwrap. Lawmakers were not holding back their stupidity. Mr. Chu, does TikTok access the home Wi-Fi network? Only if the user turns on the Wi-Fi. I, I'm sorry, I may not understand that. As they asked Chu about his connections to executives at TikTok's parent company, ByteDance. Yang Fuping, who is your boss at ByteDance, correct? No. No? No. He's neither my boss, nor do we have frequent contact. Dumb, 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 dumb. Who they say have ties to the Chinese Communist Party. They also asked about the company's proposed solutions to the US data security concerns and whether it would offer sufficient protection against Chinese laws that require companies to make data user accessible to the government. Chu repeatedly tried to assure the committee that ByteDance is not an agent of China or any other country. So ByteDance owns a number of businesses. Right. They are you all report to ByteDance. Everybody's part of ByteDance. Okay. And do you know of any other employees that work for ByteDance that are part of the Chinese Communist Party? Like I said, you know, they are, ByteDance has owns Chinese businesses and they operate in China. You don't know how many, but you acknowledge many. But his claims of independency were undermined by the Wall Street Journal story that said China would strongly oppose to any forced sale of the company. The hearing also touched on the impact TikTok has on mental health, particularly of its young users. The parents of a 16-year-old boy who self-deleted after watching some odd content on the app were also present. One of the congressmen went as far as telling Chu. Mr. Chu, your company destroyed their lives. Your company destroyed their lives. It was a hypocritical moment that showed the real ignorance of Congress, who have the authority to regulate firearms which have been used in the past on innocent people whilst they were praying in church. What do you guys think? Are TikTok really using the data it collects to spy on its users? I don't know, and I don't have the answers. But what I do know is, I'll see you in the next one.